you know, it was totally random. Uh, everybody, you know, a lot of brothers, they start in family bands when they're kids, but we all sort of spread our wings and went separate ways all over the country. And musically speaking, you know, James was really into bluegrass. I was into jazz and rock and a bunch of other stuff. And, and Abe was in architecture school. And we, I was living in New York at the time, doing a lot of session work. And um, we, uh, James and Abe both visited me randomly and we played all these old songs that we'd grown up with that we hadn't played in years. And we just totally connected with that kind of music. Just at that time, for both of us, it just it was really important. And, uh, and James had written all these really cool songs. These really, they were country songs. And I was just really excited to play country music again. And so we just booked some shows with you know our friends Todd and Seth on bass. And, uh, and it just felt, it felt right. It felt good and it felt natural. So we just kind of kept going and you know, here we are. It's kind of you know, our full-time thing now. Well, it's, uh, you know, we all know each other really well. You know, when you grow up together, the, you all, um, you know, we end up just getting things, hashing things out, getting things out in the open instead of keeping it sort of, uh, you know, under, under the surface, so. There's no passive aggressiveness. Yeah, no passive aggressiveness at all. We just fist fight whenever we have problems with each other. Yeah, like the Davies <laughs> brothers or the Gallagher brothers. Uh, yep, we're exact. Oh yeah, we're just like them. Yeah. Yeah, my my, my dad's a musician. Um, he's also a teacher, but he's a musician and a songwriter and a, and a singer. And we grew up hearing him play and started piano lessons. And then we all picked up guitar and different instruments. Same place, the pedal steel. But yeah, kind of my dad just being a lover of songs and singing. When we were little kids. Was a big part of it. I think. It's with it, with this record especially. Um, it's been all over the place, you know, me and my two brothers uh, have done most of the writing, but uh, we do, I mean, we've written a lot of songs together, really kind of, I mean, we're becoming one of those bands I always wanted to be, where the all five guys come together to make something really cool and unique instead of it being one person's or a couple people's vision, so I feel like that's really happening on this, this new record we're working on especially, so. Yeah. It's, we it's sort of cool, just it's exciting. Put I, everything, oh sorry. No. So. We just put it all on the chopping block, you know, and just said, figured out what was good and what needed work, and which was really cool because before it was just, you know, you brought in a song and everybody wrote parts over it and we arranged it. Whereas this one, it was really we, yeah. we just really kind of played the songs in a lot of different ways till we found something that was really interesting and unique. Though. Everybody used to be really precious about their songs and like their vision, and it's just not that way anymore. And we're a better band for it. Mm. But it seems like a lot of the lyrics are personal in a lot of ways, but yet still taking a step back uh, from it. Are they, are you relating personal experiences or are you writing just from what you see in other places or where's that, where are these stories coming from? It's a little, it's a little bit of both. Yeah. But you're always just trying to... Probably all the above. Yeah. I mean, you're trying to make it move, make it speak, make it feel alive. And if it's not you know, literally personal, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, um, There's a lot of, uh, yeah, just, you know, just being out on the road and being in your own head and the struggles with that and the joys of that. And, like, ultimately, it's an optimistic album, too, which is pretty cool for us. Um, you know, it really sort of comes out triumphant at the end. And um, we're really, really excited about this one. I just can't wait to start playing the songs live. We're all switching around on different instruments, you know, we wrote on different instruments and, um, you know, singing a lot of three-part harmonies with, with the brothers, which is something we've always done on living room concerts and smaller acoustic shows, but it was a little less of the live show, whereas the new record, Mason, is more, you know, there's a lot of harmonies, which I just, that's, that's one of my favorite things to do is to sing with my brothers. When, when are you expecting it to come out? I think that you put out two songs so far. Yeah, we've got two songs out so far. We're, we're hoping early next year. That's kind of our plan. And where are you recording and mixing it up? We're, um, we recorded in Nashville with Ken Coomer, who's a producer now, but he used to be the drummer for Wilco and Uncle Tupelo. He's got a studio now. So we've uh, been recording with him, and for mixing, we're working with um, 
my gentleman Chad Blake, who is uh, Peter Gabriel's engineer, but he's also done Black Keys and a bunch of cool stuff. And also Jim Scott, who worked on Sirens, who's done Wilco Records and even Tom Petty Records. And got some great guys working on this album, so. Yeah. I think it's gonna sound, I mean, I can't speak for us, but it's gonna sonically be pretty incredible. Uh, so, so would you say that it rocks a little harder than uh, Sirens? You know, it's it's not. It's it, it doesn't. I'd say if anything, it's a little more introspective than Sirens. A little more, um, a lot more acoustic instruments on it. Acoustic piano, acoustic guitar, um, creative percussion. It's more traditional in certain ways, but also a lot more experimental in other ways. So, and Ken really pushed us to do that. You know, focus on what mattered and don't just do the the typical rules of rock moves on it. Yeah. I mean, we love that music. I mean, we just love 90s rock and uh, 80s and 80s and 90s rock. And Sirens is sort of, you know, very consciously that we wanted it to be pretty simple, two electric guitars. And you know, obviously it deviates from that some, but you know, the core of Sirens is that. Whereas this record, we weren't really scared about breaking it down or worried about do we have enough rock songs or we just sort of. All, all sort of threw out the songs that we were writing and picked the ones that we sort of felt all related together and that really spoke to us and sort of told a story. Not that it's a, not that it's a concept album. It's not Operation Mind Crime by Queensryche, uh, but you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, all the songs definitely. It's programmatic. It all, they all flow together and. And how, to, and how to take those influences, like you said, R.E.M. or The Replacements or those, you know, those kind of, or, you know, the 70s and 80s rock that we love, but also make it our own and make it 2013. That was kind of the, and really sound like the record from now, you know, as opposed to just paying homage to those old bands that we, that we love and definitely respect and want to take up their torch. Too many bands are being influenced by, like, just of the moment, you know, and... It's pretty cool. I mean, it's we love playing these festivals that have been around for 20 years. You know, they start in somebody's backyard and they sort of keep building each year. And everybody's been really nice to us, and we're having a great time. Yeah, it feels like a real community here. It's nice. Everybody's been really friendly. Well, in the immediate future, we're, we're playing in Charlotte tomorrow night. Uh, we've got a really good headlining show, and then. Uh, and then really just working on getting the record out. I get to, I'm pretty excited, I get to fly out to LA to uh, mix the Jim Scott sessions and then Chad Blake over in London is going to be mixing some songs and, uh, and then just sort of working to get the record out. And uh, we just got back from a, uh, a tour in Holland and in Norway, which is our first time in those countries, which is great. Um, and uh, yeah, just, you know, uh, we'll have a nice bit of time home in the fall to be writing and rehearsing and getting the album out to really prepare us for 2014, which is going to be a pretty crazy but awesome year. So, uh, so you, you said you're in Europe. How, uh, what was the response there like? Because they, they seem to love American bands. It was great. I, mean, I love touring in Europe, and it was our first time in Norway, first time in Holland, and it was it was really wonderful. Wonderful people, mm -hmm. really hospitable. Um, they really love music. And uh, it's, um, you know, you know, they listen, which is always great. Your first time in any town, that's tough to have happen. So uh, it's nothing but wonderful. And we're going to be playing a lot in Europe in 2014.